Hey everybody out there, it's Alabama Deep and coming back at you. Alright, so we're doing a revisit on my tutor that I made. I finally have this watch complete and serviced. Um, last time we left off, I had put an exhibition exhibition back on it and I had a uh, new uh, clasp put on it. But the clasp itself uh, was from a Submariner. Um, it was not refinely polished like the way this new clasp is, and I have just added it uh, actually as of yesterday. So this watch is keeping perfect time. I have decided to leave it as is. I haven't adjusted the loom. Uh, as you can see, it is uh, missing on some of the uh, minute hand, but I have not uh, re-loomed it at all to change it. Uh, to repair it or anything else I have left it the same uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take this watch off and we're going to revisit it just a little bit um, as this Tudor is by far uh, one of my favorite ones and of course it was one of the first Rolex builds I did of course I did have my 1965 gold Rolex Air King that I did um, but this is the first one where I actually had all legitimate parts at the same time. Um, so it was absolutely just wonderful to put this watch together. Um, as we can recall back, uh, this one I believe has, what was it, 17 or 17 jewel movement I believe. I'm not really sure. I will have to look. Wowzers how you can forget. Um, but uh, this uh, tutor came to me off of eBay. It was just movement, dial, hands. Now, if you remember correctly, I had another exact same kind of movement, and the dial was messed up. I tried my best to restore it. It did not want to go. Trying to find hands was horrendous, and so I just ended up, buying a whole new movement and luckily luckily it was the exact same dial exact same movement hands were intact uh, now we can see that of course as I mentioned the loom is missing off of the minute hand um, I may fill that in I don't know I'm kind of leaving it all original shall we say <clears throat> but it did not have a case now this came in a Denison case uh, for Rolex. So Denison actually made their cases for Rolex across the pond and uh, that's probably where this watch came from. It is uh, bought from Australia. Uh, so I have an uh, aftermarket case that I have put this movement dial hands in and I did that for protection mainly. I could have gotten a Denison case. Um, one was actually very cheap. I could have bought it off of eBay for $45. Can you believe that? A Denison case of $45. Uh, but no, um, I decided not to get the Denison case because I'm thinking to myself that that case is probably not water resistant. And I want to protect this movement the best I can, so I decided to go with this. Now, what I have done finishing up this watch, as it is now fully complete, um, I do have the Rolex crown here, and we see the coronet on the side. Uh, the case itself is aftermarket, but it's very much in the fashion of Rolex, almost an exact copy. And I decided not to go with the exhibition back on this, mainly for water resistance. And if I want to take a shower with this, I know it'll be perfectly safe. Uh, thus, I went ahead and I put a stainless steel back on it. Um, topping it off, what I decided to do originally I was put a metal uh, rivet bracelet on it. I quickly changed that for the Rolex Oyster Flex, and I mainly did that because I have enough <laughs> stainless steel bands. Uh, so I decided to go with something a little bit different and more modern to help this watch along, and I went with the Oyster Flex uh, band, which is very, very comfortable. Very comfortable indeed. Uh, here is the clasp as you can see um, it is Rolex as, as it is marked it goes together like this clasp down of course buckles over and this is what you see 
So very nice. Uh, it does have a lot of fingerprints that do get on it from my oil on my fingers, but nonetheless, it's just brilliant. You can see me in it actually. Hello. Uh, and so, yeah, just absolutely gorgeous the way I decided to do it, I believe. Uh, this band is very comfortable. I do not sweat. It, it, is, it is great. Um, now, this band <clears throat> that I have on here, Clasp, it is, of course, aftermarket. It is not authentic Rolex. But, you know, to me, it doesn't matter. It looks really good. It's very comfortable on the wrist, and uh, it just helps it along. It's so nice to have it this way. Um, I could have sprung for all original parts, but I'm going to be completely honest. What's the point? Uh, this band is comfortable. It is made very similar to the way the Oyster Flex would be, even though it does bear its name. Uh, it does not have titanium uh, metal strip inside, just stainless steel, of course. Uh, but it's made very similar. It feels very comfortable. I do not sweat a lot, so that's just awesome. And so, uh, yeah, just revisiting my uh, first Tudor watch I really put together. Uh, and it's just awesome. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It did stop for a little while. It came running after a couple months. It did stop. It broke my heart. Uh, so I took it apart. Gave it a good service, and now we're keeping perfect time again. Uh, I will say that not being an automatic, uh, I do have to twist the, the crown out. Uh, don't think that's going to negatively affect the watch, but I, I do know that when I'm winding the watch, it feels like it's going through butter. It's just a hot knife slicing th right through the block. And it's just absolutely wonderful feel. No grime, no grit, no anything. It's just smooth as silk when I wind it. Um, I do make sure that that uh, crown is put down tight so no moisture or water gets in when I do shower. And I think it's just a perfect example of what someone can do with eBay parts. Uh, so just wanted to touch on that, guys, with a short video coming up. I have several watches that a viewer has sent me. Uh, they are uh, very high-end Rolex uh, clones that we're going to be looking at, and we're going to be regulating them. And I'm going to teach you how to regulate your own watch so you will have perfect time and uh, the lowest amount of beat error possible. So this is Alabama Deep, guys. Thank you for watching uh, the completed Rolex Tudor watch the way I want it absolutely stunning and gorgeous in my own opinion i'm going to go ahead and put it back on my wrist uh i think i'll be wearing this watch for quite some time uh i may change it out inadvertently a little bit because i do miss frank frank belongs on my wrist just as much as this fellow does and uh, i just cannot wait uh to swap it back out soon but until then, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put Mr. Tudor back where he belongs on the wrist. Guys, thank you for watching. Gals, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Help me out with YouTube's algorithm. And I am gone, guys. Thank y'all and have a nice day for watching.